Matt will not forgive the renegades for that. Darling, wake up. They're gone.
Sometimes I can't sleep because of the awful sounds the infected outside make. Believe I live long enough oh. to see the electricity. Who? Turn back on. Me? Hmm. Yes. I could. I could definitely paint you. But 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 no, no. I have to avoid distractions. Not if I want to finish my greatest work. The greatest work? What's that? A grand fresco. My my, my magnum opus. A painting of epic proportions the, the world is not prepared to see. But I can't finish it. I, I don't have the proper shade of red. Red? Yes. The reddest red. I need it badly, and all these idiot merchants have is some kind of pale joke. Without the reddest red... <laughs> My project will remain incomplete, and my art will not find the expression it requires. Of course, I could get my hands on... But, but no, that's just such a crazy idea. It sends shivers down my spine. Let's hear it. Oh, my, uh... Are you sure that... Okay, then. Uh, I, I have to admit, I already experimented in secret. And what I need is blood of the infected. Uh, but not just any infected. I find the blood of a goon is the only one that is apt to give me the true, deep red I need. I've been observing this particular goon in a certain area and uh, have taken to leaving out red wine for it to drink. Wine should make its blood an even more intense shade. It becomes rather aggressive after drinking the wine. Do you think you're up to the task of bringing me the creature's blood? Sure. Sounds like fun. Go, then. Uh, uh, come back when you have acquired its blood. Aiden? I didn't know you were an artist. Can I help you?
Is it open yet? Did you hear? Renegades attacked the canteen. Czar sets the right example. Lieutenant Rowe, I have orders from the commander. I ain't Rowe. He went off with the squad to New Dawn Park. I'm Lieutenant Grady. Great. Guess I gotta keep going. What are you talking about? Show me those orders, son. I was supposed to give them directly to Rowe. And I'm Rowe when Rowe's not here. It's called chain of command. Give him. What the hell? Did the commander say why we're being pulled back to center? He didn't seem too eager to explain anything to me. I'm just the messenger. Okay, boys, time to pack it in. Command's ordered us to withdraw. It's back to base for us. We're doing what? We're leaving this outpost? Don't question me. You can't hide behind Meyer's skirt out here. You're... you're abandoning us? What do we do? We'll be defenseless. Go arm the survivors. Then we roll. If I were you, I'd give them plenty of weapons. The Renegade sent a whole detachment to the Fisheye. Any other bright ideas, civilian? And just a question. Where can I find Roe? New Dawn Park, like I said. Not sure if they made it yet. You take these to him and tell him I'm on it. <laughs> Better you than me, buddy. Roe's gonna blow his top when he reads these. And I'm here to save lives, not lose mine. Yeah, thanks for the tip. Assholes. We won't stand a chance. I'm really sorry, civilian, but we have orders. You can't leave us. If the renegades come, we'll be dead within a day. My sister found some weird tapes inside an abandoned building the other day. <sighs> Fucking idiots. Kind of hey, what's wrong? This. All of this. <clears throat> we're supposed to be protecting people. Figure the chicken out. Roided out assholes always have tiny balls. We're supposed to leave defenseless civilians to the butcher's mercy? 
I, I put up with a lot of shit because I believe in our mission. But if no one else believes... We should stay. Protect the civilians. Hey, fucking come in. Do me a favor and climb up there. We need the windmill back on. I'm going to New Dawn Park. Apparently Roe went there. I still don't understand why the renegades attacked the fisheye. They've got their camps, but... Butcher hasn't attacked the fisheye since... Never. Even he respected the Night Runner, so... No fucking clue what's going on in his head. Let me go. The Butcher. Tell me more about him. The Colonel. He is the leader of the renegades. He gave the order to douse the city in chemicals. That's when my parents died. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not. Saw my dad once in my whole life. And if mom was good at anything, it was drinking. She abandoned me. That's how you ended up in Waltz's program? <sighs> More or less. <laughs> and your parents? Remember them? No. I just remember the hospital. Pain. And the fire. Right before they split me and Mia up. <sighs> that why you're looking for her? She's the only family you got left? Let's focus on the job, okay? Okay, tough guy. Last one there's a rotten egg. <laughs>
something wrong no nothing talking to myself that's all I mean I can see something's the matter but okay it's just there's nothing that can be done there are too many of them too many who renegades degenerates six months ago they kidnapped my son Rook and they forced me to produce drugs for them I was the chemistry teacher in school before the epidemic I held one of them back grade but what about your son they're holding him hostage. If I'm late with the next batch of drugs, they'll kill him. Maybe what these bandits need is a lesson. But there's a whole band of them. I've faced far worse odds than that. I'm not a fan of kidnapping. Will you help me? Yeah, I'll try. Where are they keeping Rook? In a military building, overlooking the canal south of Muddy Grounds, near Culvert Island. The entrance is on St. Paul Boulevard, past the wrecked car carrier. Just be careful. I went there myself once, trying to free my boy. They caught me. Then later brought me one of Brooke's fingers. As long as these bastards are alive, they'll never leave us alone. I'll be careful. I'll follow you. Wait outside for you to come out. What's your name? Aiden. Thank you, Aiden. I haven't slept a wink for six months. What are they doing? They must have found her out. Those renegades are animals. Who knows what they do to her? Hey, uh, everything okay? What's it to you, huh? Ain't none of your business. 
Ollie, cool your jets. Don't you know who this is? It's that Pilgrim guy, Aiden. Well, since you asked, one of her own, Kareen, is undercover at the nearby Renegade camp. A spy. Right. Volunteered to walk into the lion's den. Been given regular reports, and then nothing. Not a peep for days now. It ain't like her. They caught her for sure. Yeah, thanks for the expert analysis, Mr. Doom and Gloom. Someone needs to get in there and find her. What's she doing in there anyway? Just finding out whatever she can. Those renegade scum are going down. And she's been feeding us info that'll make them go down even harder. Why don't you go in after her? No can do. Those renegades would sniff us out in a second. We'd be toast. Yeah, those are fucking renegades, man. Just because I'm a guy doesn't mean they wouldn't rape me or something. Yeah, I see your problem. Jeez, Ollie, you got serious problems. I'll go check in on her. Oh, man, that, that, that'd really help us out. Look, I got these papers that'll get you into the camp. Better him than me. See what I got to put up with? Just give me the papers. I'll be honest with you, I did a quick job forging these. Anyone taking a third look could figure it out. Which means you gotta work fast once you're in. You okay with that? I'm good. Awesome. Now, check it. The Renegade's camp is tucked between the office towers. Okay. How am I supposed to recognize her? Well, ain't a lot of women in these places. But she's gotta know you're on our side. Use the code word phrase, have you milked the goats? And she'll respond, goat milk is too sour for my tastes. You'll know it's Kareen. Goat milk is too... what? What kind of code phrase is that? Pretty awesome, right? I came up with that, man. That was all me. 100%. Okay, whatever. Back from patrol. Can I get in? Huh? Let's see your papers. <sighs> you look familiar. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Maybe. But I get that all the time. Yeah, you got that familiar kind of face. Welcome home. Thanks, bro.
buddy? Don't I know you from somewhere? Maybe. I've been around. Oh, I know. I know. You went up against the PK when they came creeping around the stronghold. Maybe. Could have been anyone. It's everyone's duty to keep the PK out of our business, isn't it? <laughs> Too right, my friend. Too right! Fuck yeah. Now excuse me. Got me a lady in waiting, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you dog. You dog! Oh, don't let us keep you, man! So whose power did you absorb today? I don't have a lot of time. I uh... just take a second. Boxers or briefs? Ah, uh, free ball all the way. <laughs> See, told you who wears skivvies these days. I'll admit it. You were right. I'm uh, glad I could help. I gotta. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you in a hurry? Yeah, catch you guys later. Why are these renegades so ugly? Gee. This ain't an outpost. It's more like a dog show, I can tell you that much. Have you milked the goats? Don't know about goats, handsome. But if you're looking... Yeah, never mind. Aiden, it's Dan. This isn't a good time. Sorry, but I gotta warn you. The guards took a third look and figured out the papers were forged. Oh, fuck. Exactly. So the clock's ticking. You gotta find Kareen and get the hell out of there. They'll be tearing the place apart any minute now. Yeah, roger that. Back at the stronghold. Ever wonder what we'd be doing if the play had never happened? <laughs> you don't want to go down that rabbit hole, man. Seriously. Have you milked the goats? Goat milk is too sour for my tastes. The PKs sent you? Yes. Are you in danger? Only from the PKs. W what do you mean? I've... I've met someone. His name is Alphonse. A renegade. A man. Renegade, yes. But that's just a label like Peacekeeper. Tell the PK I was discovered and executed. Otherwise, they'll come after me. They won't stop. I'll lose Alphonse. I'll lose everything. Aiden, stand here. Any luck? Yeah, I found her. Her grave, I mean. What? They killed Kareen? Afraid so. Well, fuck me. We lie her up here about this. Told you she was dead meat, man. Thanks, Eden. Guess there's nothing we can do about it. Sorry I didn't have better news. Aiden out. Thank you. You saved my life. I guess it's not all about labels and uniforms. It's not enough, I know. But please, take this. With my deepest gratitude. Thanks, but I won't make it out of here alive to spend it. They must be searching for me by now. There is a door behind you. You can escape unnoticed. Thanks. Good luck. <laughs> 